that thing that go around and says like describe what you do very poorly we're putting a big sticker on an old bus yeah that's, <laughs> that's what we're doing today yeah anybody got a prey though that wants some sauce big owl hand it out well guys as you know my newel is 25 years old it was built in 1995 like it's been on the road since january 95. seen a lot of miles a lot of road and a lot of sun and that sun is starting to take a toll on the front cap of this thing now the newels are all aluminum except the front and rear cap those are fiberglass caps i'm getting some checking up on the top i don't know if you can see that it's up here let me just use this ladder right here one second guys okay all right we've ascended the ladder this checking is not good it is definitely not looking good up here guys and it's actually gotten a little bit worse since i've had it sitting out here in the the big old texas sky so i'm going to do something about it and let me just hit it some more that'll you know if i tap it as i talk i look like i know what i'm doing that's why i do that what am I gonna do about this? Well, I'm not gonna sand it down and paint it because I don't have the means to do that right now. And I don't have the money to pay somebody to do it. So as a temporary solution, I'm just gonna wrap this upper portion here with some vinyl and actually black vinyl because I happen to have a bunch of it on hand. So it's gonna look a little different up here too. The whole nose is gonna be black, which might actually be kind of cool. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna measure this out find out roughly what size I need to cut so I'm not monkeying around up here with the giant roll of black vinyl but it uh it'll these bumps will still show up because it's not it's not completely smooth here it'll still show up underneath it but whenever you're you know 12 feet down there you're not gonna notice and if you do you're just not because you won't you barely even notice this when you're on the ground so I think it'll be just fine this will be my first time uh, experimenting with any kind of vinyl on the outside of this thing even though it does have vinyl in other places from the previous owner which you wouldn't even notice actually it did a really good job so I'm gonna keep up that level of quality here I don't know some of you're probably thinking oh, well, quality vinyl's not quality well my Escalade's vinyl and a lot of people think it looks pretty good so I'm cool with it if you are actually even if you're not cool with it I'm still cool with it and I know most of you are cool with it too because you know the deal i've had this black vinyl for honestly probably like six years i think the tube said i ordered it in 2014. it's just been floating around i use random pieces here and there but this is all i got left i thought the sheet was a little bit longer but i should be okay to do it in like two pieces and if not i'll just order more but at the very least it will cover the messed up spot and keep it from getting worse so i'm going to measure all this and cut you know plan it out a little bit cut a couple pieces and get it on there i anticipate i'm probably gonna have to order more because on that that front part i want to do the front and then on the sides it'll kind of i'd like to cut it so it kind of roll up wraps up like with a curve and instead of just being like just a straight line on the corner give it like a little bit of a design and i don't think i'm gonna have enough to do that this will be good for now that's all that matters so I got a really scientific way that I'm gonna measure this here. I'm gonna show you something real quick, all right? So I need to go from here to just up over this, at least for now. And how I'm gonna do that is, uh, well, see we got elbow right here. Wow, it's as long as my arm. How about that, Baylor? You ready to go gap some Hellcats? Yeah, I don't know why they be getting buggers. But... He's making people mad. If you uh, are a Newell person, and you haven't seen my other like you know car videos go watch the one where we go to an outlaw track with his zl1 and there's people like it's it's a sketchy place <laughs> it went up there people throwing cash around and it's not a place for a 16 year old to take a brand new car like that but it was a good time for that reason Hi. all right baylor you think you can handle standing up here without like hurting yourself yes okay we can we can try i don't want to be the one to tell your dad that you fell off of a of truck. Fell off a truck, yeah. <laughs> All right, Trying to wrap so a, a new hole. This is how far that piece reaches over. If it's done in multiple pieces, it's not going to be a big deal because you're not going to be able to tell. Um, if you want an example of that, don't look at the back bumper of my Escalade because there's like 16 different pieces on it and you have no idea. But anyway, I'm going to start here because the wind's blowing this way. So I'm going to get it stuck here. That way it's blowing 
in favor of me and not uh, against what I'm trying to do. So John is dynoing his V in there and it does not sound happy. It's definitely uh, breaking up a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's we'll take it right there. Yeah. I might look what I know what I'm doing and I don't. I'm just saying. We're just winging it here. Yep. And you know what I'm gonna do with this so it doesn't blow away? So the hut. Oh, well, don't squish it down yet. I'm gonna get it like kind of. We'll get it stretched a little bit. So it looks all nice and neat. You always get the blowtorch if we get any like imperfections. You just kind of gotta swing it. Just you glass it piece by piece. There we go. That looks just a lot better. See how I'm doing it? You just kind of like get it stuck, and you lift it up, and you pull a little bit, and you pull it a little bit until it's all like pretty flat. Some may disagree with that methodology, but that's how we, whenever I was doing the Escalade with my friend uh, Austin and Sean, who also had not ever wrapped an entire vehicle before, we started by trying to like squeegee it and roll out the whole way, and it was not working that well. So by the end, we had it dialed in to kind of do it like this, and we were knocking out panels so much faster. Really should have a squeegee though, kind of forgot to grab one. Yeah, we may have to grow, grab one of those. Yeah, I remember there was one sitting in there. Yeah, we'll get it here because it will, now that it's glass like this, we'll go from the center out. You know, I actually think it's probably gonna end up staying like this because the whole front end being black looks pretty freaking sweet. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll follow this line somehow. Like I'll take it black and then I'll, I'll swoop it up into uh, probably like where that awning is just about kind of at an angle that complements this one. That way it, it's all kind of looks like it's supposed to be that way. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna have to order more vinyl to do that, but that's not a big deal. Um, and I'll keep it black below that black line. And then for the top front, I'll get silver vinyl to cover that up to save that from getting any worse also because I don't wanna keep it black the whole way up because that black line has continued the whole way down the coach and I, it would just look stupid if it ended somewhere. So the roof line has to be silver above that um, once this ordeal is all said and done. But for right now, this is pretty freaking sweet. I don't know, you think that looks, that looks cooler like that. Maybe you're gonna have to wrap the whole thing. Yeah, well, it'll just be a progression until the whole thing ends up black. Yeah. I guess Robbie Gordon's paint job, you know, this could have looked a little help. He should have painted that black from the get go. I don't know what you're doing, Bob. You messed up. <laughs> We're fixing it though. 20 something years later. Just a quick check in on John's shop V. The very first pull just happened. Taking this thing to Yellow Belly. There you go. <laughs> John only has one thumb. Really All right. Up some yachts. We made our inner impromptu squeegee here. We're gonna go wrap this thing squish it down this is pretty much what we use on the, the escalade too just like a gift card credit card something with a microfiber on one end so you don't uh scratch it and you just like electrical tape it to it nothing fancy you don't really gotta like buy a squeegee or anything if you don't want to and it's probably not gonna come out so hot because it's pretty bumpy under here but you know, yeah see what i mean we're just gonna work it out anyway Just doing it, doing what we can with what we got. That's the name of the game. See, in the non-check part, it comes out pretty smooth, but this is, does not look that great. Oh well. I really should have lifted that and pulled it, but I didn't, because, I don't know, I'm being lazy right now. Oh, 
I'll cut the, uh, the clearance lights out after it's all tight. I'll take a razor blade and cut them. Dang, I dig it. Hmm. Work in this corner might be a little fun. One hand in here. Let's see if I can get it done. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fiddle with those. But it's looking okay down there. Having this bump here is nice because it kind of forces it to stretch and glass a little bit better. I'll just get it down as far as it'll go and then I'll detach this and run it down to the edge. You learning something? So what are you doing here? Getting her done. Mm -hmm. It's looking really good. Yeah, everything. I mean, the, the surface under here was rough, so it's going to look like rough. It's going to come through. But honestly, I'm really glad I found a use for this vinyl because it had been floating around for years. And I haven't used it on anything important because it was like scuffed in the tube. Like it was messed up from like the day I got it. It just didn't, you know, it wasn't up to par for something I wanted to put on my car or like in a prominent spot. But this, this is perfect. Cause this is one, it's not permanent. Two, it's so high up, you'll never see those scuffs anyway. And it's pretty cool. I wasn't even planning on doing this today. I just pulled my truck up here to start looking at it. And I was like, you know what? This is what I'm doing. This is today's video. Here, John's V in there. About to do some more stuff. About to make some horsepower. That thing's got like a 430 something cubic inch LSX block in it. 454. Is it a 454? Yeah. I thought it was a 430 something. No, it's 454. It sounds large. That's the highest I've ever heard it. Like, this is literally like a monumental moment for this car right now, and we're not in there. I know. <laughs> oh well. Like, this is the first time it's ever ran. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time it's ever done anything but freaking idle. And we're just sitting here and like this. Yeah. We're putting a big sticker on an old bus. Yeah. That's like that thing that go around and says like, describe what you do very poorly. We're putting a big sticker on an old bus. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what we're doing today. Are you going up here too? Just for now. Yeah, the material covers it, and there's some checking up here too, so. In the meantime, while this thing is gonna be parked, it'll be just mm -hmm. fine until I can get a, a more permanent solution. I can always cut it off and trim it later. Yeah. You know, when I go to wrap this legit, I actually just take a DA, knock all this down, and then it'll come out fine. Provide commentary, you should probably talk a little louder. Oh yeah, like talk like this? Yeah, I don't know if they can hear you whispering like that. <laughs> oh yeah, I do like to whisper a little bit. That's probably why we didn't use the in-car camera, because you probably wouldn't be able to hear anything I said. <laughs> now as I'm getting up to the top, it's getting harder because it's on the edge. That's why you always want to cut way more than what you're going to use, because the extra material helps you work it easier. Like if I did want to wrap up to here, I don't. But if I did, I would have cut it up to here. That way, like all this, that's a clean place to cut because it's smooth and was easy to lay. But fighting with these edges can get a little annoying sometimes. Especially like here, to wrap this corner, I would have cut out way more and then heat a little bit and then stretched it over. So, just a little tech tip for you guys. My hair is probably blowing all over the place right now. It's not. It's not? It's not? I don't care. Just letting it ride. <laughs> but now, got this pinched down enough. I'm going to cut it and pull this slack out of here. So I'm not gonna cut, I'm gonna cut a little bit past this edge just because you can see there's like, you know, if I cut right on the edge, it's probably gonna show a little bit of silver or white underneath in this seam that'll look kind of goofy. So I'm gonna go a little bit over it and work at it from there. Just so I can kind of tuck it and see where it's gonna lay. I'll make a more precise cut after this. Again, I am no professional, I'm just, trying stuff that's all this is it's just lots of trying and seeing what works and what doesn't see what I'm talking about I went a little high here now it's wooing we're gonna have to start over 
show the people your new face mask. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. From that viewing angle way down there, you don't even, you'll not, you yeah, not see don't that. Matter. Well, shoot. I just slipped my finger a little bit. Yikes. What'd you slice it on? Crusty paint. Mm. It's not even bleeding though. That's how callous my fingers are. I just sliced it open and it's not even like to the blood holding part of my finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the skin. Yeah, that's what happens when you like work with hot metal all the time. You just burn yourself enough times that your hands are just mobile calluses. <laughs> Only the viewers will see it. Yeah, don't look guys. That's gonna get cut off anyway, but <laughs> I'm gonna leave that there until I get some silver to do this part with because there is checking under here. So right now this part is just serving for sun protection and nothing more. And I'm just gonna cut this off because it's uh, not gonna stick because there's like dirt on the back of here. Don't worry, we're not littering. We'll pick that up. Yep, I always do. I'm not kidding, I always do. I don't wanna be that guy. Okay, well this looks pretty good. Let's go uh, cut, see what we can do for the back side. Gonna finish up this other side here, got it all wiped down. Baylor's out here scheming on how he can destroy that Hellcat next time out. You don't want to poke this guy, you never know who he's gonna come back out with. But that ZL1 has far from reached its limit. That's, that's on baby, baby power right Just now. baby power. put a big turbo on this oh yeah I just have to like get it to the point where all the other little like dumb stuff that is currently like a problem with it is out of the way before I put a big turbo on it and try to blow it up he's gonna he's gonna drag race this thing yeah anybody got a prey though that wants some sauce big owl hand it out I can launch this thing so hard the cabinets fly open and I'm not even kidding I'm gonna get a, a shot from back here yeah, look. Oh yeah, so much better. Does it look cool? It looks pretty cool. It looks like the glass goes farther up. You should do like a crazy wrap on it. You mean crazier than a 45 foot bus with checkered flags down the side? Yeah, like. <laughs> looks pretty good. Maybe you should just leave your, your lights up there just like that. You know? This one leaks a little bit, so I think I'm just gonna leave it covered for now, because honestly... You don't need it. Not right now. <laughs> I mean, do I want to work on fixing this leak, or do I want to cover this up and take the free coverage while it sits here? I think I'll, just, I'll just leave it covered for now. I can always cut it out later. Now let's, let's back the truck out of the way. And let's see the finished product here. Get some light on it. Yeah. Good old Elvis. It's been through a lot. finished product dude I should have done this a long time ago this looks freaking cool boom look at that I need to put a little tint on those front windows yeah like 30 percent yeah or like I don't know maybe 55 just to give it a little bit of a smoke sure. help with some of that glare yeah same thing over here eventually when I go to do that legit I'll take it and bring it probably Probably along that, um, the window there, and then have it come up and blend into that, that roof line so it follows, follows that real nice. It might even be cool if I got, um, whenever I go to cut the marker lights out, if I get clear lenses. Or like smoked lenses? Yeah, like clear smoked ones, yeah. so they're not orange anymore. And get headlights that are clear too, like. Yeah, and get all of them clear smoked. Yeah, those are early 90s uh, F-Series Ford headlights. Oh, really? They're just two of them, yeah. So I can get two sets of cleared out, like one set of them 
and then another set that has a clear reflector yeah and then it'll be all clear up front or you can get ones with black housings too oh yeah black with beer yeah yeah that, that looks pretty dang dirty i'm a fan i'm a big fan i just now i've definitely i gotta order more vinyl like tonight so i could do this the right way and get it get it like wrapped up up the side yeah the anvil wrap down through here and cut it right there so it looks looks like one big wraparound piece what i could do here to kind of cover that up is um just give it like a little make it come down to a point or something yeah something like that let's like bring it down and go today was a great success i love little mini projects like this they only take you know a couple hour. hours i like yeah you're 30 minutes to two hours and you're just like wow instant change it's great and you know give, give, give the newel some love here and there i still got all kinds of people on my channel that only watch for the newel and coach stuff that don't care about race cars at all which is kind of funny because i i got my toe in two completely different ponds mm -hmm. there's a lot of overlap but there's also a lot of people who are just die hard one or the other yeah i think more race car people get sucked into the newel stuff than newel people into race car stuff because everybody at racetracks has motorhomes. Yeah. So it's kind of a natural progression. They're like, hmm, should I get a new or should I get something else? Yeah, let me just go get, spend 200 grand on a Jayco Seneca and get freaking flexed on by a 25 year old Newell. I said what I said. I got like what we just did here. You don't even know what we did, do you? No. <laughs> wow, I, that sucks. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit ah. sad right now. You notice now? Ah. It's, it's the lighting. It's forehead is black now. It's the lighting. We got ah. that black forehead. Got that big old unibrow up there. Yeah. Does that you look better? Short. You know I'm sure. You know it's cool because it makes, I don't know if it makes the window look bigger or smaller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it makes it look meaner because that the the factory tinting on the windshield comes down so that all it makes the windshield look like it's got like a mean eyebrow now <laughs> oh why did i do that i don't know That's cool. where's the sound effects beep, 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 beep. <laughs> what about when it's really really rainy this like freaking like, <laughs> like freaking tornado tornado this baby ain't leaving in the tornado it's like well, you know, when this thing gets going, the arms get out of whack, so they're all like, you they're, know, they're, they're, they're yeah, you gotta, you gotta get out of sync, yeah. Is it that bad? Just a little bit. I mean, do your best interpretation. It's kind of hard to not be in sync. <laughs> not if I just feel like a retard. <laughs> well, that does it for this video. I think that's a good way to close it out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you want to see next on this thing. If you want to see Here more mini Newell projects or. Well, well I, I guess we're not done yet. We got we got Karate Kid out here. Now you can do the whole like little. But where's the pool noodles at? He's like, I don't know. I think when he's hurt, you know, it's like this. Anyway, nightmare. we'll see you tomorrow. The car's name is Jerry. Damn it. Jerry. 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 Jerry V.